UAVs can be used as an efficient tool to aid in rhino anti-poaching. By making use of sophisticated onboard equipment, poachers can easily be detected. Thermal imaging assists in identifying poachers regardless of weather or lighting conditions. Surveillance data can be used to monitor animal population, migration patterns and density, as well as monitoring park boundaries and fire breaks. UAVs are a cost-effective alternative to full-scale aircraft surveillance. To begin with, we'll cover the basics, namely principles of flight, which is how an aircraft responds in the sky, why it flies. Okay. 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 
Next we'll do meteorology, which is weather. You obviously you need to know when you can and when you can't fly. We will be covering ELO so that we don't get into trouble when we fly the aircraft in uh, civilian airspaces. And we will also be doing a radio telephony course. Obviously it is important being able to speak in the manner which other pilots can understand. Echo Delta, fly north at 20 north. We will also be covering engines. We get many different kinds of engines many different types of petrol engines, many different types of electrical engines. Part of the course is to identify how to use which engine with which airframe and go into a little bit of depth as to how they work. We will allow students to practice flying on simulators uh, which will show them the basics of flight training. Simulation training is where you take your radio handset and plug it into a computer. Uh, you then practice flying uh, different scenarios and circuits on computer which gives you a basic understanding of flying before you actually go out and practice it uh, for real. We teach the students to do basic pre-flight uh, checks and protocols where we teach them to check control surfaces, throw directions, inspect engines, uh, ensure batteries are charged. We show them basic protocols which students must follow each and every time before uh, taking off just to ensure the safety of all involved and the aircraft itself. Students will be required to complete a proficiency test where we ensure that they can in fact uh, fly a UAV safely. UAVs need to be fully autonomous so that when the UAV is out of line of sight of the ground controller it can still avoid obstacles and go about completing its mission. The students are taught to interface with the autopilot software so that they can generate flight profiles that make use of the onboard GPS and magnetometers so that the aircraft can fulfill a completely autonomous mission. Students have to demonstrate that they can successfully complete a mission plan using the autopilot system. By the end of the course, the students will be fully competent in both the hardware and software aspects of the autopilot system. This includes the maintenance, the setup, and any fault finding that needs to be carried out on the system. UAVs ascertain vital intel with regards to migration monitoring and humanitarian assistance. At times, borders can be hazardous. UAVs nullify the risk to the operator.